Welcome to uh, the 13th Annual Air Quality and Health Conference. I'm sitting here with Dr. Stefan Van Eden from St. Paul's, where he's a respirologist. Um, and we have a few questions for you that you know our audience would probably really, really like to hear from. Uh, so why don't we get right to it? All right. Okay. Um, so can you tell me something, how something you inhale can really affect how you breathe? Uh, uh, well, um uh, it is true that most of our exposure to air pollution is through our lungs. So inhaled uh, is usually most of the time particles and gases. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that has a some uh, added effect in the lung itself. And uh, most of the uh, well-known side effects of air pollution like uh, uh, exacerbations of asthma and uh, emphysema and chronic bronchitis and infections in children mm -hmm. and so on is usually, usually related to uh, the irritating effect of these pollutants that you inhale. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, now uh, the, the question actually came out uh, up uh, about 20, 25 years ago when they did big epidemiological studies and shown that uh, uh, if, you, if you look at people that live in areas that's very polluted, uh, those people more f uh, the death rate in those people are higher than people that lives in more wow. nice clean areas right and if they looked at what people die of they found that the vast majority of people die of heart and lung diseases wow. now the question was all right the lung diseases is quite easily to uh, conceptualize but what about how does the air pollution actually affect the heart yeah, and that's actually yeah that's actually the stuff that we've been doing research on for the last uh, uh, 15, 20 years. Uh, and there's, there's a couple of uh, uh, ideas how it happened. Uh, one of the initial ideas was that the very fine particles that we uh, inhale actually get into the bloodstream. Okay. And that then affect the blood vessels and obviously the blood vessels supply the heart with blood uh, and that may then impact the heart function. Uh, um, uh, the other hypothesis that I think there's more, much more evidence for is that the inflammatory response or the inflammation that you get in the lung that the air pollution produce actually produce very small inflammatory uh, 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 signals or, mm. or mediators. And these things can actually translocate from the lung into the bloodstream. Oh. And they affect the blood vessels and make the blood vessels very irritable. Uh, and for example, uh, somebody with already uh, 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 risk factors for heart disease, it can trigger something like a heart attack or a stroke. Oh wow! Now, is that would that be the same with uh, adults and with children as well? Uh, in children, uh, uh, clearly, children's risk for heart attacks and strokes is, isn't the same as mm -hmm. adults because they're very young. They don't have the vascular disease that uh, older people right. have they are actually much more prone to develop uh, uh, um, uh, infections. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and the reason for that is that uh, is because the children actually, uh, uh, a breath rate is much faster than or, uh, or larger for their body size mm. than, than, than adults. So they actually proportionally breathe a larger amount of these particles into the lung. Right, yeah. And that actually compromise their uh, lung's ability uh, to fight off uh, viruses and bacteria and stuff like that. Mm. So they're much more prone to develop uh, uh, lung infections. And if they have asthma, obviously it can uh, uh, trigger the asthma mm. attack. Well, it's fascinating that that pollution would affect children that way. And obviously we just talked about their lungs and of course their heart. Are there other organs as well that the air pollution really affects? Uh, so clearly if you think of that hypothesis that we had that these inflammatory markers or mediators get into the bloodstream, they can actually affect a, any organ in the body oh, wow. because they, obviously, they affect the blood vessels mm -hmm. and the blood vessels goes to all the organs uh, and supply them with blood uh, and with nutrients and so on. So those blood vessels uh, get diseased or, or uh, become uh, uh, irritable. Uh, it may affect those organs. Um, and, and that's also w uh, what we think uh, why uh, if uh, uh, a woman that's pregnant inhale particles, it may affect her baby mm -hmm. uh, because it gets into the blood vessels uh, and obviously the blood vessels supply uh, the baby with blood. Mm -hmm. So potentially that, th that uh, pollutants that the woman breathe can also get uh, to the baby. Right. That's fascinating. Yeah. 
Well, that's sort of all the time we have at this segment. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Van Eden is going to be giving a presentation about this, and we'll have his deck on our website as well for you to take a look at, where he'll go into a lot of this into more detail. Uh, so thanks a lot, Dr. Van Eden. Thank you and very much. And good luck with your presentation. Yeah, all right.